Happy Monday, everyone. I got a new vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I know you're all so excited. Yes, I went and got, well, I had to go pick up medication for Grant and medication for Mozzie at Sam's Club. Uh, the medication they take, Ursa Doyle, uh, for their, uh, having their blad gallbladder removed. Um, so I had to pick that up and, uh, Grant's wasn't, no, Mozzie's wasn't ready. So, um, I thought, well, I'll shop around. And of course <laughs> I found something to buy. <laughs> this is on special for $159 and 99 cents. And I have a shark navigator that I absolutely love, but I wanted to get another vacuum cleaner that I could keep upstairs. Um, I may use this one from down for downstairs and take the old one upstairs. But, um, cause I think this one's, uh, what do you got? He already brought me the goose and now he's bringing me a ball <laughs> when he saw the camera in my hand. <laughs> uh, this one seems to have, I'm thinking it may have a longer hose. So that's one, the one complaint I have about the shark navigator, which is probably five years old. Um, so I don't even know if that style's even sold anymore. I didn't really care for the hose because as I would use it, the hose wasn't long enough and then the vacuum would fall over on the floor. That was my only complaint about that shark navigator that I had. So um, I may keep this one downstairs and take the old one upstairs. But it's just a pain lugging a vacuum cleaner up and down the stairs. So I went ahead and bought this one. Not sponsored, just a, a impulse purchase when I was waiting for a prescription. <laughs> yeah, so... And Grant goes tomorrow to get his dental done. I had a couple comments saying, oh, please don't get his dental done. He's too old. Grant, Mr. Grant is going to be just fine. I hate when I get comments like that because then I start to question myself all the time. And I, I wish people wouldn't leave comments like that. <laughs> I wish, wish, and, and I pray all the time that people wouldn't leave comments like that questioning, um, the medical decisions I'm making for my boys. Um, if you know me and watch these videos long enough, you know that I've went through every question and every scenario and in depth with my vet about what I do with my boys um, when it comes to their medical care. So please know that I'm very confident that Mr. Grant is going to do just fine and this is what he needs because if you don't get dogs uh, dental health taken care of too, along with the other health um, issues we deal with, it can lead to heart and um, I believe even kidney disease. I think it can affect the kidneys too, um, especially the heart if you don't take care of their teeth. So um, Mr. Grant's going to do just fine. He may lose a couple teeth, um, but he's going to do great. Yes, he is. Yes, you are, aren't you, Grant? You're going to do just great. Yes, you are. And it, it might even make him feel better. I've noticed um, when I pet around his mouth a little. See how he just tried to get me? <laughs> do you think I have a treat in my hand? He didn't try to bite me, but see how he kind of, he he's very skittish. When you pet the top of the head and he wants to like nip at you, I'm wondering if he has some mouth pain. Um, he may have something going on and I want to get this checked out because if I can help him, if he does have some, an abscess or something like that, Mozzie had an abscess we didn't know about till they did the uh, dental x-ray. Um, but whenever I go to touch him, see how he's, he's very skittish about it. And I'm wondering if maybe he's got some teeth problems going on. Yeah. So we want to help him out if we can. All right, I'm going to get this out of the box and try it out. Well, I was right. The hose attachment is a lot better than the one I have now. And it also has a great long, really long cord too. So I can, uh, when I'm on a roll vacuuming, I don't have to stop a lot to replug it in. So that's nice. Okay, let's turn this on and see how it does. Well, 
Well, I'm impressed. You hear the dogs barking? There's a chipmunk running around out there. <laughs> I had to bump them with the vacuum cleaner to get them out of my way so I could vacuum. There's also a squirrel up in the bird feeder. Yeah, so they're going nuts over here. So I'm impressed. This was much lighter too, um, uh, vacuuming, um, much lighter than my other shark as well. Um, look at, that's just this room. And I vacuumed uh, this blanket. The dog's got a little hole in my chair from digging at the um, fabric. Digging at the fabric there, so there's a little hole. So I have a blanket on this chair over here so it doesn't get any bigger. But there was some grass on there um, from them bringing grass clippings in when it was wet. Um, after the lawn was mowed, it rained the next day and um, grass was on that chair. This is basically the, the dog's room anymore. <laughs> yes, it is. So um, Michelle from Chickens by the Lake, she said... I've noticed in all your videos, I hardly ever see cat hair anywhere. Well, that's because a good vacuum and lint rollers are my friend. Are my friend. Yes, they are. You gotta have lint rollers when you got kitties. Yes, you do. Um, yeah, but I really like this vacuum. So if you guys are thinking about getting a shark, I think it was called a Pet Plus. Let me see here on the, yeah, a Shark Rotator Pet Plus Upright Vacuum. It's on special right now at Sam's Club. I think I already said the price. Um, it's really nice. I like it because it's lighter. I'm going to take my old vacuum. I'm going to give it a good cleaning. Uh, and that's going to go upstairs. And this is going to be my new vacuum for down here. Yes, it is. I really like it. So, all right, guys. Um, let me get to cleaning. All right, I wanted to give you an update on the baby robins. And Max is over here trying to get under this tote. There must be a chipmunk under there. Something's going under there because the dogs have been going nuts over here for the past couple days. And they're digging up all the rock and making it even more accessible for whatever's living under there. <laughs> Anyways, the baby robins, they are hatched. My husband held his phone up there, didn't touch the nest held his phone up there to take a picture and they're still kind of fuzzy. They're, they don't have feathers yet. So I'm thinking today is Monday. I'm thinking Friday after we get our lawn cut, they come mow the lawn on Fridays. I'm gonna get the fencing out of the shed and I'm gonna put the fencing up to keep the boys away from this area. Um, I'll keep them away from that tote too. <laughs> We're gonna have to pull that out of there and see what's going on, I don't know. Um, but we'll be able to keep the boys away from this area. Um, and if they haven't hatched by the next Friday or not hatched, flown away by the next Friday, I'll just have to take the fencing down, which is very easy. Take the fencing down so they can mow again and then just put the fencing back up. But, um, once they starting to get to where they're able to leave the nest, I don't want the boys over here. Um, I would feel horrible if they got a hold of a baby robin. Yes, I would. All right, guys, um, say a little prayer tonight for Mr. Grant. I know he's going to be just great, and he's going to feel great after. I really think he has some kind of pain going on in his mouth, so um, I have to drop him off at 8 o'clock. i got to get up at 6 in the morning to give him those fear medications, uh, and then drop him off at 8. And then I'm going to start grooming dogs. As you can tell, Milo and Magnum are pretty floofy. Yes, they need their hair cut. Yes, they do. Magnum gets really hot in the summertime, being black with the sun on him. Um, so we need to shave all that hair off him. Um, and it's supposed to be really hot here in Michigan the next two days. Tomorrow's supposed to be 90, and then Wednesday it's supposed to be almost up. It's gonna, it may hit 100 degrees here, which is crazy to me. It's only June. <laughs> so make sure if you're in this heat wave, like we are here in Michigan the next two days, make sure you're leaving out plenty of fresh clean cold water for your dogs make sure you're keeping an eye on them outside so they're not getting overheated make sure to take care of yourself make sure you're hydrated and not getting overheated i'm worried about my son because he uh, is working a new job where he's working on the expressways um 
doing road work and stuff. So um, I'm really worried about him too. Uh, I don't know if they'll work tomorrow in the extreme heat or not. I don't know how that works. This is it's a new job, new things. So, um, all right, guys. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. I'll let you know how everything goes with Mr. Grant.